not here to talk about the movie Gothic Vampire. Sounds like a scary horror film, doesn't it? It isn't. I'll stop you there. But hang on a second, it might be something else. This was also released as The Unwanted back in 2014, but it's been released under the title Gothic Vampire, in the UK at least, in 2016. And this one is directed by Brett Wood and stars Hannah Fearman, Kristen Orr and William Catt, who you may know from Carrie and the House. Now, um, like I said, this is being marketed as a horror movie, and, and this really isn't a horror movie, nor is it a vampire film. But I'll kind of banner it under my horror category because it's certainly being marketed like that's the case. And that's really the only way I can kind of get the, get the point across. So the story here basically focuses on a young girl who is trying to track down what's happened to her mother. And this leads her to the kind of the uh, a small town in the southern USA basically where she comes across a kind of this old guy played by William Cat and his, and, her, and his daughter. And uh, this is the last address that apparently the, 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 the mother was residing at. And of course they initially did deny any knowledge, but she finds out that her mother once did reside there. And as, we, as the film progresses, we find out uh, basically the reasons why there's secrets here and what actually went on. So that's all I'll kind of say about the plot. So like I said, this it's not a horror film, uh, not at all. Um, there is some vampiric overtones and it's suggested that there may be some uh, vampirism going on but it's very light and you can kind of just take it as really that it's just kind of like a kinky sex play. Um, there's a lot of kind of like uh, lesbian sex scenes here so if you're a fan of that then this is the film for you. So. The basic premise here is, is a drama rather than anything else. And there's not even any supernatural overtones. But I did find it um, quite an intriguing story, even though we take it away from this, this kind of like horror aspect like it's marketed to. So I thought all around, this is a fairly small cast here, but I thought the, the performances were actually quite good. I actually quite liked the, um, the performances, especially from the two female leads, I have to say, uh, Hannah Thierman, who plays the kind of the, the, the daughter, is this kind of kind of quite psychologically damaged because her father is very sort of overbearing, and we, you know, I think she does a fantastic performance here, and she kind of overshadows uh, Chris, um, Kristen Orr, who plays the kind of the other female, and William Cat, I think, does a, a quite a good scary, uh, slightly psychotic um, old old guy, uh, you know. He's maybe chewing his scenery a little bit here and there, but overall, I think that all the performances are, you know, are pretty stop, are pretty spot on. But like I said, uh, the main criticism with this film, first of all, not really a criticism, but really just a, a word of warning: this is not a horror film at all. There are slight vampiric overtones. Um, there are a couple of scenes of of blood drinking, but like I said, it's more done in a kind of like a lesbian. Uh, kinky kind of sex play thing there are quite a lot of sex scenes in this lesbian sex scene so um, you know there is that if you are into that kind of thing um, but overall I, even though it's not maybe what I would say it's described as certainly with the, the, the UK release I think it's worth checking out if you are if you'd like the kind of like the um, slow burning dramas it is a bit slow if I'm honest with you and I think sometimes it gets a little bit too wrapped up and the kind of the dreaminess of it sometimes and the kind of the, the soft focus and the kind of the flashbacks. Although I have to say, I was actually quite intrigued with the flashbacks and I kind of want, actually wanted to see a little more of the, uh, the, the kind of the, the last generation story. You'll know what I mean if you watch the film. But uh, it's kind of quite sad and has quite a, uh, quite a exciting climax I would say it's worth checking out I would say but not a horror film not if you if you're expecting a vampire film but it's it's not a fun movie I would say that it is kind of a bit of a downer but it's I think it's well made and probably worth checking out if you like a kind of uh, um, like a romance drama type but it's a little slow in places I won't lie so overall I will give this movie a 7 out of 10 have you seen it what did you think of it leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now Thank you.